Some say it was perhaps the freest and fairest election in Nigeria's democratic history. A dynamic and rare political ticket, despite religion, MK Wabiola and Babagana Kingibe both gave the Social Democratic Party SDP a national mandate. There was, in fact, a huge array of electoral practices. The military junta shot the democratic process and a major republic in the food at its tender age. Take a look at the manifesto MQ Abiel and his party ran with. Sadly, there hasn't been any more difference in Nigeria's story 24 years after. This is the residence of the late MQ Abiela, and here, activists, family members, and eminent Nigerians gather to commemorate the 1993 election. Want to make this plea because we are still yet the issues of restructuring Nigeria is dominant in the conversation and perhaps this year's theme resonates loudly on the current political and social conversations. Our judgments have been clouded and the majority of Nigerians don't really know the truth. Nigerians did not learn much from June 12, 1993 because the Fourth Republic was ambushed before it was embarked upon. Like a musical chair, our song remains the same, but where do we go from here? We need a sovereign national conference. Sound the opinions of people. Let them come and speak up. And when they speak up, let them make proposals. What President Muhammad Buhari should do now is to immediately constitute a national peace and unity committee made of eminent Nigerians. The scar of the death of MQ Abiola may still be very evident in the hearts of the Abiola family. Take a look at Abdul Abiola, a little boy then 24 years ago, who returned from the football pitch to meet his dad, perhaps unaware of some of the political tension at the time. But now, today, the two channels television, the essence of their father's sacrifice on the nation's democracy. It is 24 years later, and so if we're talking about somebody's legacy or Jews being in vain, think about that, that 24 years, people are still talking about what he did. Every year, eminent Nigerians gather at the graveside of the late philanthropist, late MKO Abiola, commemorating the annulled 1993 presidential election. Two decades after, so many issues confronting the nations are still on the table, and it brings the question whether or not Nigerians have learned from that experience from the late MK Abiola's residence in Ikeja, Lagos. Shane Wakimbaloye reporting for Channels Television News.